Welcome. This video is another in the continuing educational series that Imaginomic offers for its plugin. This video will deal with a portraiture plugin and the use of one of the actions that is available for free from Imaginomic.com. The action we're going to work with today is called PT Revealer. We're going to run it and give you an idea about what it does and how you can work with it. To start with, it runs the portraiture plugin. Here we've set it to back off warmth a little bit and give it a little bit more contrast. You can do whatever you like here for special effects. When the action finishes, it looks like you're left with just a white screen here. In reality, we've duplicated the image and we've overlaid it with a black mask. And what we're going to do is we're going to paint white in here and that will open up this mask and let the image blow through. At the same time, it'll give the effect of having a nice shadowed edge with some bevel to it. So what we're going to do is we select a brush in Photoshop. It doesn't really matter what brush you have. You want to have a decent size to it based on your image. You want to have a real small one because it'll take you a long time to really brush in all the details there. Make sure that the mode is set to normal. Make sure your opacity is set to 100%. And make sure the flow is set to 100%. We also want to make sure that the foreground color is set to white. Then we just click into the image and start brushing in. As you can see, as we brush in, we're allowing the image below to come through, and then at the same time, we're getting a nice little edge effect around there with some shadow and a little bit of bevel coming in there. You can see here now, the area that we painted white is showing up over here in the mask, and that's what's letting it through there. Now, the effect of the shadow and the edge and the bevel here is all done through the effects here, which is done by double-clicking, and we come up with a layer style palette. We have a drop shadow, an outer glow, and a bevel and emboss here. So we turn off that drop shadow and you see that it disappears. We turn off the outer glow, it's gone. Now we can take that drop shadow and we can kind of bring it up bigger. We could move the angle of it around on there. So really there's no limit to what you could do with tweaks with the various selections that you have over here. We're going to turn that outer glow back on again, click OK. Now we're going to bring up another brush here show you another little thing you can do with it. We're going to bring up kind of one a little bit funky here and we're going to bring it down to about 400 on the size and we're going to go around the edge here just kind of clicking around randomizing the effect You can see you got some really cool effect there. Now we can also control that effect a little bit with either curves or levels. We're going to bring up the curves dialog here and you watch as we pull it up. You notice that the effect there becomes more pronounced as we pull it down. It starts kind of fading out. We can also select the background and then we can select a color here. Let's try something maybe around medium blue. We go up to the gradient tool here. We're going to select a radial gradient and we're going to click in the middle of the image and drag it out. And you notice it put a nice little kind of medium blue background in there, which kind of blends in with everything. We could even go up and add a little texture to that with Texture Texturizer. Use a standard canvas texture default. Now we've got a nice little textured background in the back back there. There's really no end to what you can do with this action. It gives you a lot of power. It gives you a lot of ability to come up with some really nice effects. It's just kind of limited to your imagination. So give it a try. See what you think about it. And if you have any questions about it, just drop us an email and we'll get back to you. Thanks.